These are my top five favorite storage accessories that you can 3D print on any 3D printer. Now, to be transparent, these are designs that I have personally made myself, but these are designs that I have frequently used over the years. And if you're someone that's looking for storage solutions and prefer to 3D print them instead of buying them on Amazon, then this video is perfect for you. I'm gonna show you all the designs and how they work and how to 3D print them. In addition, they're also easy to print, require little to no supports, and you also don't need a fancy machine like this to actually get some pretty good results. So with that said, let's begin. Starting with the first product on this list is this 3D printed pill organizer. Now I designed this product inside Fusion 360 and printed this with a matte green and a matte black PLA. The total print time for this product was around five hours and took less than 70 grams of filament, which is around $2, give or take. What I really like about this design is that the organizer kind of slides smoothly into the casing of the product, giving it a nice, satisfying close. Now, I personally use this to store screws and other small miscellaneous items inside, more so since the box that I used or used to use with the screws that it came in really didn't work that well, so I actually just switched over to this design and used that instead. Personally, for me, I would prefer to have it in my own case that I kind of have more control of, and one thing I would probably change is add some sort of latch so that way it actually locks into the product, but otherwise, I think this is a pretty cool design. One thing I do want to add to this is that I did have to print this at a 45 degree angle, primarily since when you're designing something like this, you want to print this with as little supports or ideally no supports. So I made a 45 degree cut in my modeling software right on the side of the face or on the side of the edge of the container. From there, I printed it on that face. And then once you 3D print it, it's actually printing at a 45 degree angle, requiring no supports and printing just as well, even without supports, making it not only a cool design, but a cool design to 3D print. The next design on this list is this 3D printed stackable and foldable storage crate. This is a design that I 3D printed and designed in Fusion 360. And this design comes in at around 150 grams of filament and takes exactly five hours to 3D print. Now, what I really like about this product is that you can actually fit all of it in one build plate. Once printed, you'll have a total of five pieces you'll need to assemble. You'll have the base, the sides, and as well as the front that folds down, which is basically the front flaps. Once printed, all you have to do is just snap in the pieces together and voila, you have this stackable and foldable storage crate. You can use this to store pens, pencils, accessories, notepads, virtually anything you want. And once finished, you can just easily just fold it back up stack them on top of each other and just kind of tuck them away for easy storage. I personally use this to store my condiments that me and my wife get whenever we go to restaurants. Whenever we go to like to In-N-Out or Chick-fil-A, we just usually get more sauces than we usually would use and just kind of keep them in there in case we ever need them for our at-home meals. Kind of a unique way we use this, but I think it's probably a useful design and it kind of fits the case for this. The next item on this list is this 3D printed storage box. Now this design took around 120 grams of filament, less than four hours to 3D print, and it requires very little supports to print. I printed this in this black and yellow filament. I was really aiming for this kind of storage bin look and I think it kind of came out in the way I was envisioning. Once printed, you should have a total of three different pieces. You have the lid, the snapping clasps, and the frame of the box. Once printed, all you have to do is just attach the pieces and then attach the lid. And now once you snap in the clasps, you have this pretty cool and functional design allowing you to store keys, objects, and anything else valuable inside in this kind of small compact container. And I think this is a cool design, especially if you just want something simple and relatively easy to use. The next item on this list is this 3D printed SD card holder in the shape of a toolbox. Now this design comes in at around 120 grams of filament and takes less than five hours to print prints. This is printed in five separate pieces though. You have the insert for the SD card, you have the lid for the box, you have the frame for the box, you have the locking pieces for the front and the small handle for the top. Once printed, all you have to do is just assemble the pieces and then you get this portable SD card holder in the shape of a toolbox. Now, I personally really love this design. This was a product that I made I'd say around two to three years ago. And I really got a lot of inspiration from, you know, toolboxes from Yeti, Milwaukee, um, Uline, uh, more so like coolers and toolboxes. And in order to make this product, I actually had to go to the store, kind of look at how existing products were made and actually kind of dissect and kind of see like what parts and pieces were being used into every single container and storage box that was on the shelf. And truthfully, it was kind of interesting to do this because it really showed me how much work went into these designs. Before, I used to just kind of look over it and not really care too much. But now as a designer, as someone who's actually made products just like this, it actually 
kind of gives you a realization that there's a lot of work going into making very simple products. Like you have to, like it really takes a lot of work to draft the product, then get it approved, then create it and manufacture it, and then having to sell it at scale. It, that's a whole different ball game. And if you know how to do that, I think you can basically create products and then just sell it and build businesses practically overnight. But anyway, back to the point. What I really like about this is that it holds all my SD cards and micro SD cards. If you create content or make videos just like this, you know like storage is like a big issue. So for me, this was really important, especially since I film with the camera and I wanna make sure I have storage and video on the go. So I kind of take this with me whenever I wanna just kind of keep everything in one place and kind of keep it in an aesthetically looking container rather than the ones on Amazon, which aren't really that cool. I also went ahead and created some custom packaging for this product. This isn't really necessary. This is more so for me. And I think this came out pretty clean and makes the product look even more legit. So the last product on this list is this 3D printed twist lock container. Now this product right here is really cool. So let me show you how it works. So to print this, it's gonna cost you around 120 grams of filament and it's gonna take you around five hours to 3D print on an X1 carbon. Once printed, it comes in in four separate pieces. However, you can actually print as many as you want. You should have the lid, the handle, the containers, and that's pretty much it. That's all you really need to make this work. And the way this works is you can just go ahead and get the container, get the lid, and just kind of snap them into place. And now you have this fully enclosed storage container. But the cool thing is that if you print another lid and another container, you can actually add them to the bottom of this design and even expand this into an infinite storage set, which is pretty cool because if you want to expand this, you could basically add as many as you want and no one can stop you. Additionally, if you also wanted to, you can also switch out the lid for the handle and kind of carry this as a portable carrying case that you can take with you and carry anything you want inside. And it's portable, which makes it really cool since it has this tiny little handle to take with you on the go. This is a pretty cool and sweet design, especially if you want an infinite portable storage where you just print more pieces in order to expand it. This design specifically is probably my top three favorites, but I think one thing I would change is either making the containers themselves being able to attach without the lid and actually requiring less pieces in order to make this work. Otherwise, I think it works pretty well and actually it's a pretty cool storage system that you can use and take with you anywhere on the go. Additionally, if you wanna learn how to create your own designs and models specifically for 3D printing, maybe you have an idea for a product and you wanna learn how to design it, make sure to check out 3D Printing School down below in the description. This is an online community giving you access to step-by-step -step guides, resources, and tutorials, helping you learn and master 3D printing, knowing what filaments to use and exactly how to design those products from scratch. Whether you're a complete beginner or a long-term high hobbyists looking to create their own designs, this community is perfect, especially if you want personalized feedbacks on your projects, in addition to a live community in case you ever get stuck, have questions, or need help. If you're curious about that community, you can check it out with a link in the description. But with that said, thank you so much for watching. Links to these designs will be shown down below in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next one. Take care.